people wonder if Goofy's Kitchen is worth the cost. Here is a quick video to help you answer that question for yourself. Two and three. In my opinion, what you're paying for at Goofy's Kitchen is the interaction with the characters. The characters do visit you multiple times throughout your meal, and they go out of their way to make it special and fun. <laughs> <laughs> he likes that. Thank you. Is it? But the icing. I now you dance. You wouldn't dance with me last night. <laughs> <laughs> you went dance with me last night. <laughs> Alright, what the heck is a sprinkle pizza? This is what it's called. Like a fast kitchen, huh? Yep. Look at that oh. This buffet is really designed for children. They have everything that a child could possibly want. However, do not plan on them eating healthy for this meal. This is one meal where they, they will enjoy it very much and load up on sugar. Don't worry, there are some healthy choices for those of us that would like to eat healthy. I want to get one. <laughs> You like it? You're hungry? <laughs> Aww. You should get some food. You should ask Goofy and Mickey to give you some food. <laughs> Is Goofy your pal? <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye. There is some interaction required as the characters enter the restaurant. It is tradition to wave the napkin in the air and cheer. Be sure to celebrate a special occasion while you are there, no matter if you're a few days early or late for the occasion. As you can see, we saw Chippendale the most. The cost of this experience for us was $254, and that was for three adults and two children, so it averaged out to around $50 a person. It is rather expensive, but you are paying for that Disney experience. For us, this experience is worth the cost. Where else can you go and have the Disney characters walk up to you and you have that interaction? Because anywhere else in the park, you're going to stand in line and wait for that experience. Tips and suggestions based on our experience. You will want to make reservations early. You can make them as early as 60 days before you will be there. They do have last minute cancellations, so there is a chance you could get in at the last minute, but make reservations if you can. It is an expensive experience, and the photos that they take at the beginning in Goofy's Kitchen is an additional cost, I think around $30. However, you have the photo pass, you can just get the digital photo as part of the photo pass and not have to spend that additional $36. I would allow one to two hours for the experience. They don't hurry you off, so you have the time to sit, enjoy your meal, and interact with the characters. Walking to Goofy's Kitchen from the parks can be quite a hike. So if you happen to be in Disneyland, consider planning so that you can take the monorail and that will drop you off the closest that you can get to Goofy's Kitchen. If you're in California Adventure, you can leave through the Grizzly Peak area. However, there were like two checkpoints and it took us a little while to get through that. From our family to yours, a big hug and we will see you on our next escapade.